comment. Dominic Thiem must be honored appropriately at the upcoming U.S. Open. As Dominic Thiem prepares to play in his final Grand Slam tournament, U.S. Open bosses should do the right thing and honor him appropriately. The former world number three won his only major title in Flushing Meadows back in 2020. It was a historic occasion. He was the first man born in the 1990s to win a slam and the first new champion in six years. But he was robbed of one of the best moments of winning a Grand Slam title as the tournament was played behind closed doors and he never got to lift his biggest trophy in front of a crowd. The U.S. Open must give Theme what he deserves, his crowning moment in front of a packed stadium, before it's too late. Back in May, the 30-year-old announced that he would retire at the end of the season after years of wrist injury struggles. Since he made his announcement, he has not competed in a Grand Slam tournament. French Open and Wimbledon bosses both chose not to grant him a main draw wild card. He went through qualifying at Roland Garros, but lost in the second round. It's one thing the U.S. Open has already gotten right. They granted him a wild card into the tournament. But playing a match in the main draw isn't enough. Team has already been honored with a few ceremonies at various tournaments he's played since announcing his retirement. The French Open paid tribute to him on court Suzanne Langlin after his qualifying loss. And Thiem got to say goodbye at his home tournament in Kitts Buhl, where he was given a trophy during a special presentation. U.S. Open organizers will no doubt have something up their sleeve if and when Thiem loses in Flushing Meadows, ultimately bringing his Grand Slam career to an end.